racism did not work to take down Elon Musk. So now Business Insider, which is essentially an, an online rag of a type, rolled out accusations of sexual harassment against Elon Musk. Here's the headline, a SpaceX flight attendant said Elon Musk exposed himself and propositioned her for sex, documents show. The company paid $250,000 for her silence. Uh, there is a lot of questions and issues with just the basic reporting, even in that sentence. Business Insider published it most likely because the National Enquirer found it too thinly sourced for their liking. Insider quotes an unnamed friend of the unnamed flight attendant and offers zero corroborating evidence for these accusations. We're going to get to the journalistic malpractice in a minute and Musk's denial. But first, imagine being Elon Musk for a minute. Just last year, he was the darling of the left for building electric cars to save the planet. They even tolerated him moving from California to Texas and moving Tesla as well to save billions on taxes. But buying Twitter and threatening their control on what is and what is not free speech was a bridge too far for the media, especially the big newspapers. And the elite are fighting back with everything possible. The woke investment funds, known as ESG, abandon Musk. Now, ESG funds only put money into companies with responsible environmental, social justice, and governance programs. They pulled all their money out of Tesla, yet keep their money in big oil stocks. So to be clear, according to these investment funds, they just now decided electric car company, the leading electric car company, is not environmentally responsible, but big oil is okay. Again, think about Elon. Up until now, the media loved him. 1983, he created his first video game and sold it for $500. One person reviewed it and called it a retro game that will instantly hook you. 2002, he sold PayPal to eBay for $1.5 billion. At the time, one paper wrote about how PayPal was running it up against the competition. Years later, he became CEO of Tesla and changed the company's trajectory by taking it public. It was really a wild idea back then. Writers celebrated the move in an article that read how Elon Musk turned Tesla into the car company of the future. He's a visionary until last month when he announced plans to buy Twitter and turn it into more of a free speech platform. The New York Times questioned his upbringing, and a Washington Post piece said, Twitter is good. I hope Elon Musk doesn't ruin it. Now comes the Business Insider piece about an incident that allegedly happened in 2016, and as we said, offers zero hard evidence. Think about two New York Times profile pieces about Musk. These say everything you need to know. The first was before he wanted to buy Twitter. Echoes of Steve Jobs in Elon Musk. Just a couple of days ago, Elon Musk left a South Africa that was rife with misinformation and white privilege. Same Elon Musk who they called Steve Jobs. Same guy, same newspaper. Make a bunch of money building electric cars. You are a hero. Talk about free speech. Try to buy Twitter. You are a racist and a sexual uh, harasser or abuser. Chris Hahn, the aggressive progressive, uh, is with us. Uh, boy, you feel like he's really getting a raw deal here. Well, I, I don't hate Elon Musk. Uh, I mean, if these allegations in this story are true, I mean, they're horrible. I mean, who takes a job as a flight attendant and then is told, you know, go get your masseuse license so you can massage the right, passengers but, but, on the Chris, I mean, that, that, that's wild stuff if it's true. And, and, and people will have to be held accountable for it. But that said, you know, I don't hate the guy. I wasn't freaking out when he was buying Twitter. I, no, I actually tested so, okay, so, so last why, month. I, so, why, <laughs> so why all of a sudden is people willing to publish things that is one unnamed source of a friend of someone who this allegedly happened to that the reporter never talked to the person who it allegedly talked to and the person who this allegedly happened to won't, doesn't even know uh, didn't even know that this story was going to be published. Come on. I mean, they, they have it. journalism seems uh, to now just have the long knives out for Elon Musk. Well, Business Insider is not exactly journalism, so let's oh, be clear. Enough. It's not like this is on the cover of the Washington Post or the well, New York Times. Well, but the Times. Washington Post and the New York so Times is now... Oh, but, but doesn't this give the Washington Post and the New York Times now license to report on the reaction and license to report on Musk's statements and everything else? It's the way, it's the way you get I, things I in, don't think, in play. I, look... I think that their journalistic integrity would permit them to report on it if they could confirm what was said in the report. But beyond that, no. Uh, look, here's the thing about the media. They love to build you up, then they love to break you down. It's what they do, it's what they've always done, and then they love your comeback story even more until they can break you down again yeah. if they can. So that's the way it works. Oh, well, I mean, that's, you know, you want to start competing 
in the big leagues like Elon Musk is. He's obviously the richest man in the world. He wants to buy Twitter, which is basically journalism talking to journalism. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's going to get yeah, attacked. It, 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 yeah, we always say cable news is a full contact sport. I, I'm almost I'm almost thinking it's a little bit like the, the guy in town who's the rich guy in town. He's done well, but nobody knows who he is and nobody cares. And then he buys the pro sports team, so he's going to be on the front page of the newspaper every day, and suddenly the sports columnists all rag on him. Fair comparison a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, and, and wait, for the record, I didn't even know this was going on until your producer sent me this story. <laughs> so, well, it's on the, it's it's the top like link it's on the Drudge Report, so come on. You well, were yeah, I mean, you know, if I read the Dredge Report every day, it wouldn't be me. So it's just, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just one of those things that happens sometimes. These things kind of go under the radar, and here it is. People are talking about it, yeah. and it comes a bigger and bigger thing, and then people have to answer to it, and that makes the answer the story, as you just said. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.